Hi, I'm Chris Agarino, and I wanted to do this little video because a person told me they didn't understand how Cisco would be relevant to a developer. I was a little surprised. Yes, I admit I've been working for Cisco for 20 years, and I'm biased. In fact, explaining it is part of my job. Come ride my car for three minutes and give me a chance to make the case. I think you'll see it. Right now, the Internet of Things and analytics are what's hot. If you talk to CEOs, CIOs, and other leaders, this is what they're working on. Another term for this is digitization. Look around. Uber's killing it. The Starbucks app lets you order from your car and walk in and it's ready for you. That's digitizing your business. The Internet of Things is here to stay. And in order to do it, there needs to be four key things. You need a thing. You need some data. You need some logic. That's what the app does for you. And here's the big one. You need a network. And the network is not just about moving data from point A to B. Even 20 years ago, when I first started at Cisco, we were doing more than just moving the data around. Got voice over IP? But wait, there is more. Let's talk about my favorite thing in technology, location services. I think it's totally cool that our cell phones have GPS built in and that apps are using it. But anybody ever try to use a cell phone to figure out where something is inside a building? Good luck with that. And have you gone into a business without free Wi-Fi lately? Annoying. I just want to tell them about my 15-year-old daughter who wouldn't buy anything without Snapchatting at first and runs out of data halfway through every month. How are you going to sell her anything without free Wi-Fi in your store? Okay, so we need location services and Wi-Fi. We also want voice, video, financial transactions, and some analytics data. That's a lot of different network traffic. What if I told you you could buy one set of equipment that it would do all this? Okay, maybe you already knew you could do that with Cisco. But, can we come back to my favorite thing, location services? If I were writing an app for a business with substantial physical presence, I'd be using location services to help my customers find what they need. And if I were writing that code, I'd be using location services you can build right into the network with Cisco Connected Mobile Experience, CMX. When you add this little tidbit to the fact that we have 82 different APIs, I think we're relevant. In fact, I think we're right in the middle of it, and one of the important resources developers can use as we go into the future. I'm blogging about all this stuff on communities.cisco.com if you're interested, and you can learn about how specific use cases are taken all the way down to some entry-level code. If you want to know more about location services, check out developer.cisco.com and search for CMX. You can try it for free. Hit me up on Twitter at Cogarin if you want to.